Well, hello, Virgo. Greetings, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, let's hear it. It's time for your horoscope. <laughs> All right, so um, what's going on with you this week? Well, this is a good time. You know, I mean, this is a time where we enter into our heart space. And this is a time where even though it's really dark outside and everything, we get really creative. We really get into that zone where we want to express ourselves creatively and have fun. We're like fun-oriented people. We're playful. We're focused on our children more. We're focused on the things that give us joy. And we're focused on what we want the world to know us by. And so that's part of what's going on. Now we got this great Jupiter thing in our first house. Jupiter's about to go retrograde in um, just like a couple weeks. So um, we really need to give thanks to Brissapati, you know, for all the blessings we've had, you know, all the good things, for the for the really good things and the really killer Thursday, because it's going to be, you know, part of, most of Thursday, New Year's Eve, and it'll be in Virgo until 1041 when it goes into Libra at night, so I, I really see that as, you know, a celebration for you with Jupiter, you know, in your first house, I mean, um, honor honor Jupiter, honor spiritual growth, honor taking risk in your life, honor doing things in a big way, don't limit yourself right now, um, bring on the gold, bring on the wisdom and the fun, the exuberance, the enthusiasm, those are the things that we're in dire need of right now, that's what we want from you, and you've got energy to do that, you've got energy to bring it to us. Um, I'd say it's a good time to beautify your home environment, make it more winter, you know, good, you know, all the mats out for all the mud and stuff and just, you know, heat insulated right, towels if there's cracks or better yet, some insulation, make it, make it better for yourself. Um, <clears throat> I mean, in the transit I think of Uranus and Aries as a long-term thing for you through your eighth house, and you got un unconventional ideas uh, about sex and love and things like that, and that's okay. Not everything has to be any one particular way. Um, there are many ways to go, but I think the good news is, is that there's this wealth, there's this generosity, there's some good fun times coming your way, and uh, you are the king and queen of your ship right now. 